medical dialogues your daily dose of health and medical news i'm mr zaman and today i'm going to talk about air pollution from factories and vehicles linked to worse outcomes for patients with lung disease people with a disease characterized by lung scarring that has no obvious cause are more likely to die if they live in areas with higher levels of air pollution composed of chemicals associated with industrial sources and vehicular traffic according to new research led by university of pittsburgh scientists gubi and her team obtained data from 6683 patients with fibrotic interstitial lung disease or filds in the us and canada and linked their home addresses with satellite and ground monitoring air pollution data to determine air pollutant composition to an accuracy of less than half a mile the team specifically looked at a pollutant known as pm2.5 which refers to particulate matter that measures less than 2.5 microns across a size invisible to the naked eye this type of pollution is so small that it can infiltrate deep into the lungs and even cross into the blood stream where it can contribute to other diseases outside of the lungs such as heart disease The team found that increasing levels of PM2.5 were linked to more severe diseases at diagnosis, faster disease progression as measured by lung function decline, and higher likelihood of dying sooner. Pollution high in sulfate, nitrate, and ammonium were associated with worse outcomes, where chemical signatures from more naturally occurring particulate matter such as sea salt or soil dust didn't carry as high of an association. After pollution leaves a smokestack or tailpipe, Gubi noted that sulfate and nitrate containing aerosols can be formed in the atmosphere from those and other gaseous pollutants and can be acidic which can be very damaging to the tiny air sacs of the lungs. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.